All right. Snow level, level, snow level, level two. Yeah, say that five times fast. Um, but yeah. Again, I do like snow levels, but they went a bit overboard, but yeah. <laughs> and the music's pretty nice as well. Um, in these stages, I'm the, the uh, eventual um, polar... Oh, I, yeah, it's a polar bear level. I, <laughs> um, the... The music's uh, really, really nice. Like, in terms of, like, the soundtrack, this absolutely craps on uh, Crash 1, which, to be fair, was going for a more environmental kind of feeling, which they still do, they still kind of do with uh, Crash 2 and 3, but not nowhere near as much as the first game. It, it kind of still, it still kind of has that feel, but it tries to be a lot more, um... What's the word? Um, not experimental, really, but... Um, it try. Well, I, I guess that would be a decent way, but, like, it tries a lot of different things. Um, like, it try Sometimes... Some levels have more peaceful music. Other levels are more up... Like, uh, upbeat and... Um, blood pumping, in a sense. And... Um, you know, it... it like... The game tries to have a lot of different feelings with the soundtracks. With the soundtracks, yeah. <laughs> with the music, I should say. And, I mean, again, Cra the Crash series doesn't have my favorite music in the gaming world, but... I still I still get a kick out of listening to the Crash 2 and 3 soundtracks every now and then. Like, not to say that Crash 1 had a bad soundtrack, like, far from it. It, it. it just wasn't really anything too special, you know? But, there are some, there, yeah, there are some tracks out, out of the Crash 1, uh, OST that I do get a kick out of. Like, I like, I do like Slippery Climb and, uh, Heavy Machinery quite a lot, so there's that. But, yeah, it's clear, it's clear as day that the 2 and 3 soundtracks are much, just much better. Do 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 do. How did that? Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just go through the wall. Yeah, the bit of a ran uh, random place to put the rolling stone things, but hey. They don't show up, show up, show up that much. But then again, they didn't show up that much in Crash 1 either, so... I think they're, these are only here for like two levels, maybe? Well, then then again, in Crash 1, they're... Oh, right, I can't even get the gem here, never mind. Um, in Crash 1, in the levels they were in, they, they were there for the entire, like, throughout the entire level. With this game, though... They were, they're, they're pretty much just there for the end part. So. Alright, air crash. What is... Is this another... Uh, jet ski? Level? Yep. Alright. Okay, so... If I remember correctly, this is a... Warp, isn't it? Alright, let's see. And yes, it is. Okay, so what you want to do, don't go on the jet ski. Yeah, die like that. But what you want to do, jump on these boxes. Oh man, I don't usually have this much trouble with this. Alright, okay. There we go. Yeah, there are some uh, specific platforms that make you warp to the secret secret warp room which is basically basically the, the the remains of cortex's castle and crash one and you can see just you can see that the two other islands in the distance there which is actually really nice so yeah anyways we'll go back to snow go because we literally well 
was this the first level we played or the first snow level or the second one I forget all right level okay that's the first one so basically I die <laughs> that's basically what happens but no, it's like, you go through this, oh gosh, okay. But yeah, like the whole secret warp room, uh, secret warp room thing is another instance of uh, the game encouraging you to try, try out different things, provided you haven't seen a playthrough or something beforehand, then it kind of... That kind of just kills the whole novelty of that, but hey, you can enjoy a ga the game both both ways, really. But um, like hell, I I know exactly where everything is, and I still have a blast playing it. So, all right. Okay, so yeah, like there are, there are some uh, color gems that do require you to go to these areas. Like, most, sometimes it's obvious where a secret warp may be. Other times it's a lot more vague. But... Dang it. Like, oh man. I have a... I kind of have a love-hate relationship with the ice in this game. It's like, you can gain so much speed and momentum with it, but... Sometimes it's a bit too realistic, like, in the sense that sometimes it just takes too long to turn around, or sometimes when I, I'm just trying to slow down and do a simple jump on a box, the, mo the momentum is still carrying over and it, and, it's, and it makes me launch way too far for, for my liking and I end up dying. Like it just happened before, like just a while ago. And thankfully, well, Crash 3 only has like, yeah, like this. Again, that happened again. I hate that. Alright, let's try this again. Well, we're gonna have to anyway, but. I mean, I went, I went out of my way to 100% Crash 1 for you guys. So I may as well do the same for these the other two games and it's a lot more manageable to do that so <laughs> yeah and it's a lot more fun as well let's not forget that uh, don't get me wrong Crash 1 is still a, a fun game even when 100%ing it it's outdated yeah um, pe some people may even go as far as saying it's kind of a bad game now I don't necessarily agree with that, but I will say it, that it hasn't dated the best. If that makes any sense. But yeah. Alright. There we go. And we got the gym. Alright. So now all we have to do is just go through the level again like normal so I'll see you guys in a bit when I finish it again and I'm done so let's go all right yeah look at that we already we're only in the second warp room at this point and we already have two of the five colored gems all right is that it Yep, warp room one is complete. So now we can go to wait. Let's see here. Yeah, we can go back to Snowbits, Biz, Snowbiz, and go to the red gem path. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, here we go. Didn't take too long. Oh, pfft. <laughs> okay. Let's actually stay on the platform. But yeah, this is what I mean by the, by um, you don't have to go too far in the game, in the game to in order to get a colored gem for for a level, you know. So like we we had to go to a secret to a secret um, 
warp in uh, the second level of warp room 2 and then we went back to a level in warp room 1 to get the red gem which let, let us go to this specific pathway so yeah you do again most of the colored gems are in early the early half of the game so which I think is a good which I think is a good thing because I like, in crash 2 1 and 3 there are a lot more well in one it's a lot most of them are at the end of the level at, at the end of the game like at least three of them are um, and with crash 3 it's the fact that they're uh, a lot more spaced out like there's at least one in warp room 5 and there's one in 4 as well so yeah I don't even th I don't think there's even any in warp room 1 actually but yeah I mean some people may like it some people may not it really comes down to taste I guess but hmm I don't know I don't really have I well I can't I do like that uh, I don't have to worry about colored gems in the second half of the game really but I also kind of like that they're spaced out more in crash free but I mean again it's a uh, down to personal preference really but both I do I get I I, I like both uh, kind of uh, ways ha ways they handle it I, I don't know <laughs> all right nope Ugh! and jump Yeah, you don't you don't don't want to rush with those. Basically, just kind of go tiptoe towards the um, icicles and wait for it to fall. Because if you if you try doing if you try ru rushing ahead, even if you're doing a slide spin trick, most of the time you're just gonna end up dying or get or at least getting hit by it. But yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to go through the rest of the level like normal again. So, again, be right back. I know there are, there have been a lot of cuts recently, but hey, just bear with it for now. And there we go, gem got gem get. I guess if we're going by um, Japanese Mario. It's like star get or something. Alright, whatever. Duh. Don't dance. And now we can actually do air crash. After like five years. Okay. So there's no uh, time objective in this one. So it's more straightforward, but still. Actually, no, I think this level has a uh, skull skull route. It's the first skull route in the game, I believe. So we have that. But... Yeah, other than that, though, it's not too uh, crazy of a level. But, um, yeah. There are some tricky... Uh, Piranha plant placements, though, so you have to be, you have to watch out for those. Oh, I, I don't even know, what, I don't know what they're actually called, but I just, that's pretty much what they are. <laughs> and wait for the platform. Now you can do a trick, like if you if you spin as you're ascending from a jump, you can uh, get some extra height, but it can be a bit risky on it well it can be risky but it's kind of just for speedrunners really it is fun to pull off though though uh, i will say okay that was me just over overdoing it okay attempt number two how convenient it's the second game in the series, haha. I like doing that. <laughs> Even if it is a little bit scary. 
Okay. There we go. Oh, did the, did me dying in the bonus room? Okay, it didn't. Okay, we still we can still go into the skull route or the de death path. Okay, so the deal of the death routes is that to activate them, you can't die until you act until you go onto the uh, platform. Like if you die here, the it doesn't matter. Like as long as you just went onto the skull path at all, you'll still be able to go to the. Uh, the skull pathway or whatever but yeah like just get getting to it you don't you can't die out and if and if you do it's just gonna become see-through and you're gonna have to restart so yeah it's basically it's basically um the whole thing with like crash one where you can't die to get the gems except in this in this game it's actually used for a mecha game mechanic and again it goes into the whole thing of trying out a bunch of different things and seeing what what works and all that and i think it's a a better a better way to include challenge instead of just having instead of just having to beat the game without dying at all just because just because of of a bad save system like it kind of just encourages you, I guess, more. Because in Crash 1, it's just kind of stupid. It's like, oh, I see something I see through. Maybe I can go here and not die this time. Something will happen. Oh, sure enough, it did. So I just gotta not suck. Alright. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Never mind. the The uh, plant placements were was um, another level I was thinking of. That one, yeah, that one's a lot more straightforward. Alrighty. And now for Barrett, but first. Just a little bit of animal abuse, because we all know the world doesn't have enough of that. Yeah, uh, nah. <laughs> I kid. But still, yeah, that is a pretty, pretty cool bone or uh, secret. 